Strong Reaction in New Hampshire to Trump's Drug-Infested Den Remarks Was it really disgusting or right on the mark? Those show the range of reactions in New Hampshire to President Donald Trump's characterization of the state as a drug-infested den while speaking to Mexican President Enrique Peña Nieto in January. Trump's remarks came to light this week when The Washington Post published a transcript of the phone conversation between the two leaders. The state's politicians, Republicans and Democrats, were quick to denounce those comments, but other Granite State residents also weighed in. I think we're used to the president going over the top, said Grant Boss, editorial page editor of the New Hampshire Union Leader newspaper in Manchester. If you're a fan of the president, you don't mind that he went over the top again in describing a very serious problem. The union leader is known for its conservative editorial slant, and publisher Joseph McQuaid called Trump a liar, a bully, a buffoon in a September editorial endorsing libertarian Gary Johnson in the 2016 election. On Friday, however, the paper's letters to the editor section was flooded with New Hampshire residents eager to defend Trump. Please count me as one granite stater who is not outraged at the president's leaked den comments, Pete Brigham wrote. Given the constant drumbeat of news recounting the extent of the drug scourge all across NH, and the other manifestations of the insidious impact illicit drug use has on everyday life here, I would say that the president is, in essence, right on the mark. A letter from Ralph Gottaldo struck a similar tone. President Trump's statement that New Hampshire is a drug-infested den is more truth than fantasy, he said. I have lived in Manchester for 30 years, and the city is plagued with addicts and panhandlers. But debate over Trump's comments extended far beyond local newspapers. Some residents took to social media to make light of the new label for their home state. One tweet shows the New Hampshire license plate with the state motto of Live Free or Die replaced with Drug Infested Den. Thanks Mr. President, the user wrote. I've updated our license plates and got rid of our old crappy motto that we all hated anyway. New Hampshire comedian Nick Lavallee tweeted an emoji-heavy message, saying, Greetings from New Hampshire at real Donald Trump we're more of a hug-infested den. Other users posted photos of themselves enjoying the state's mountainous landscapes, in contrast with the drug-infested den label. Trump made the opiate epidemic a key issue while campaigning for the presidency in New Hampshire. In 2015, New Hampshire recorded 397 deaths caused by opioids, according to the New Hampshire Department of Safety. In terms of the rate of all drug-related deaths, New Hampshire ranks second among states behind West Virginia, according to the most recent data available from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. The union leader's boss agreed drugs represent a serious problem in New Hampshire but said Trump's remarks weren't appropriate. We think it's a foolish thing to say, boss said. Not accurate. New Hampshire has a lot going for it. Kylie e. Pigeon, a 20-year-old New Hampshire native said the drug problem is real but name-calling doesn't help solve it. Do we need help? Yes. But to call it a drug-infested den, that's inconsiderate, really disgusting actually. It's like, you're our president. She said. You should have more respect than that.